Welcome to 100 Huntley Street. Moira and I felt that I should take a few moments off the top of today's program to refer to a couple of very important news items so we can pray. All eyes have been on Moncton, New Brunswick as we continue to receive the reports of a manhunt for the gunman who allegedly shot and killed three RCMP officers and injured two others. As of this morning, families across the area are in lockdown, hiding in their homes until further notice, obviously fearful of this gunman on the loose. We're joined on the line now by a Moncton area pastor, Reverend Jeff Goodwin from Living Waters Church. Jeff, what's the mood there like as you're in the midst of this ordeal? Good morning, Ron. Um, yeah, it's pretty um, nerve-wracking here in this area. Um, I know that uh, my family have been uh, calling home here, you know, and checking with us, and we've been calling them as well at dif- different intervals just to see how things are with, with family. But, um, you know, Moncton is a small city. Um, we don't hear about this type of thing happening here too often. I know that back in the 70s, uh, a kind of a similar event did happen in the Moncton area where two RCMP officers had been kidnapped back then and, and they were murdered. Uh, so it's not something new here, but it's been a long time since anything like this has happened. And, you know, we become comfortable with our peaceful maritime uh, community. And when something like this happens, it's just such a shock. And I know that our, a lot of people are very afraid about this because this individual is still on the loose. So, yeah, it's, it's really caused a lot of uh, um, nerves of a lot of people, for sure. Now, your, uh, your community, which is kind of connected to Moncton there, is Dieppe. And uh, what are the three areas that are in the lockdown? Um, the three communities here are Moncton, Riverview, and Dieppe. Now, I'm not real certain that the Riverview and Dieppe are in the official lockdown. However, I know that when I look out my window, there is no traffic here whatsoever. In right. Folks that we've talked to in this area are saying that everything in these three areas, basically the schools, the banks, the restaurants, the you know different things like that, are all closed down. Mm. Well, uh, Moncton Mayor George LeBlanc uh, sent a tweet out to uh, everyone in the area, and he said, uh, "Terrible, sad news for Moncton. Stay indoors and allow police to do their job. Prayers for the families." And that's certainly what we want to do, Jeff. I know that you've been praying and other uh, you know, ministers, pastors in the area. That's right. uh, but let, let's just uh, take a moment to pray, shall we? Because there may be some watching even uh, right now from the Moncton area who, who are fearful. They're there. And Lord God, we just come to you right now and we ask you to bring comfort, uh, first of all, to the family members of those RCMP officers who have lost their lives. Lord, our our hearts are broken with these families, and we just ask that your arms of love and comfort will surround them. And uh, Lord, you will will just uh, help them, Lord, in the coming days and months to just uh, heal from this terrible ordeal. Mm -hmm. And for those injured officers, Lord, we pray for a quick recovery. And Lord, for those who are just fearful there, that, uh, that, Lord, there will just be a sense of hope and optimism and that uh, this will soon be resolved. We just pray that uh, you'll just work in the, uh, the, with the police there who, who are trying to track this gentleman down and the fear will dissipate and everything will get back to normal. And thank you for Jeff and other ministers in the area who will be helping uh, in the healing process. We thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 Jeff, thank you very much for joining us, and we'll continue to pray. Okay, Ron. All right. Good to talk with you. Okay, bye-bye. God bless. Bye-bye.